I'm going to put this paper behind it because this is your code. Meet so Sandy Hebner, Recreation one. Assistant for the Renaud Center. Sandy has been with the Renaud Center for over four months and is proud to be a part of the team. We have some new information for you and we wanted to make sure that this looked okay so you have to My primary responsibilities are making sure that an individual walks through that door that we provide them with the best services we can here at the Renaud Center and that may be as a member making sure that the classes that they want to get into are available or if they're non-members that we provide them information regarding new membership. In her position, Sandy is doing what she enjoys most, putting smiles on people's faces. Well, I've learned that the best part about this facility is greeting the individuals when they come through the front door. I believe a smile goes a long way. And if you greet them with a smile, it starts their day off really great. And if they're having a bad day and we can smile at them when they leave, their day's good. If they're having a good day, their day will be better. And so I love that part, and I love working with the little children when they come in. They're excited about going to classes, they're excited about swimming, and the parents are really excited about the fact that we're here supporting the community. Sandy appreciates her coworkers and their work ethic. As a recreational assistant, I have This is one of the most cohesive teams I've ever worked with in the years that I've been in business. And they have your back. And they are so excited and so proud of the facility that you you take it you take that with you, and uh, that is the best part. One of the best parts about working here is the cohesive team that they have. Prior to coming to the Renaud Center, Sandy worked for AT and T. She was the payroll department's executive director and worked in technical support as well. Later, she became involved with the Treehouse of Greater St. Louis a nonprofit organization that works with children, adults, and veterans with disabilities using equine assistance therapy. Most of my life I've owned and shown quarter horses, so this was a perfect fit for me to work with the love I have of horses and working with individuals with special needs. That is how, that is how I evolved into enjoying working with individuals. During her time at the Treehouse, Sandy did something that changed the lives of these students. She helped bring one of the first Special Olympics equestrian competitions in Missouri. In 2018, she was awarded Coach of the Year for moving that forward in the state of Missouri. I spearheaded this, again, for my love of the horses, the love of competition, and the love of seeing these young adults getting out and growing. Once you take boundaries off these children, their lives change forever, and that's what I was looking for. Sandy was later recognized for her love and dedication for the sport. In 2019, the American Quarter Horse Association awarded me the Merrill Woods Humanitarian Award for my work with children, especially those with disabilities. It's for individuals who, on, in a volunteer capacity, go above and beyond to make sure that the youth in the horse industry or even outside the horse industry are brought in and provide them opportunities to excel. And that's what I wanted to do with especially our children with disabilities. Sandy recently won another award to add to her trophy case. I am now the December Employee of the Month for the Renaud Center. Again, overwhelming. You know, it, to know that, that my family, my home, and that this is what they think of me, it's, it's pretty much. At times I say, how did this happen to me that I found no, Renaud? And how, how did it happen it's to me favorite. that I got so lucky to find these people? It's what I thought was going to be something just to keep me busy has turned into a life-changing event for me. Thank you, sir. The O'Fallon Cultural Arts Department welcomes Rich Brooks to the O'Fallon City Hall Gallery. Rich Brooks can look back at life filled with artistic endeavors, beginning at the age of four when he determined he was going to be an artist. 
Today, he continues to produce world-class art on a full-time basis, along with teaching art to students of all abilities. Now we're proud to bring a selection of his art to City Hall, showcasing his mastery of a wide number of styles and disciplines. The gallery is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 4.30 p.m. and is located at 100 North Main Street. Join us at the Renaud Center for a game of Nerf Wars, taking place on Friday, January 7th for kids ages 4 to 14. Each player will be supplied with a pair of safety glasses and an armory of foam darts. Participants must bring their own Nerf gun, capable of shooting a 7.2 centimeter foam dart. To register, visit RenatCenter.com. O'Fallon Theatre Works is holding auditions for their upcoming play, The Addams Family, a new musical comedy. In this original romp, Wednesday Addams, the ultimate princess of darkness, has grown up and fallen in love with a sweet, smart, young man from a respectable family, a man her parents have never met. Now worlds will collide and everything will change as the Addams Family hosts a dinner party for Wednesday's normal boyfriend and his parents. Auditions for O'Fallon Theatre Works production of The Addams Family will be held on Saturday, January 22nd. Is your child interested in joining a summer swim team for the first time this year? Join our prep class and work on your skills before the season starts. This class is for swimmers who have an understanding of all four strokes but still need to work on their technique and endurance. This four-week class meets for 45 minutes twice a week and is taught by our Torpedoes coaches. For more information, visit RenatCenter.com.